We would like to give a special thanks to MGA for providing us with this doll. Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Project MC Squared Brighton's Nail Powder for ages 6 and up. With Project MC Squared, we get to learn about STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And with this doll, we are doing the nail powder experiment, where we crumble, paint, dip, and wear. Sounds easy enough. On the back of the box, it says, Brighton Bandwidth Steam Nail Powder Experiment. A pigment is a material that changes the color of light, which is reflected off of an object. Pigmentation is the reason nail polish has such bright colors. Create your own brightly colored nails using a custom pigment by combining crushed eyeshadow and clear nail polish. First, scrape the eyeshadow into a container, then apply a base layer of nail polish and dip your freshly painted nails into the eyeshadow. Apply a second coat of nail polish over the eyeshadow to seal it. And get ready to show off your Amaze Blogs manicure. Brighten Bandwidth. Solve the case while looking like a total rock star? Brighten's all over it. Her stylish hat, bold printed jacket, QR code graphic dress, and platform sneakers transform her into a rock legend. Going undercover never looks so rock and roll. At the very bottom of the box, you can see the other dolls that are available. Let's get this girl out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, you get three jars with lids, a base, comb, and the doll. Bryden is wearing a black baseball cap with TTYL and pink glitter letters. She has a yellow fleece bubble jacket with eyes, with a sleeveless black and white dress with splashes of color, black knit socks, and rainbow platform sneakers. She has light brown hair with blonde highlights, eyelashes with glitter eyeshadow, glitter lipstick, movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. I know, I know, my outfit is totally trending. But enough about fashion, it's TFTNPE. I'm sorry, what? TFTNPE? Time for the nail powder experiment? Oh, I get it. Okay, carry on. If you look between the layers of the box, there are some instructions that say adult supervision required. There is also a list of household items that you will need that are not included. Like eyeshadow, clear nail polish, tissue, a spoon, and sandwich bags. However, I don't have those, but I did find these little tiny baggies. So hopefully that'll work. Before you get started, make sure you are working on a protected surface because I am sure this can get a little messy. I'm just using a little bit of wrapping paper. First, we take some eyeshadow, place it in a bowl, crush it into a fine powder. I hope that's pretty good. Take one of the jars, spoon the eyeshadow inside. Good thing I protected my surface. I am already making a mess. Take nail polish and paint one nail. Then before it dries, dip it into the eyeshadow, wrap the tissue around your finger and then lightly tap it to flatten the powder. Then apply another coat of clear nail polish right on top to seal it in place. Some of the pigment transferred onto my brush, so I am going to clean it with a little bit of nail polish remover before putting it back into my bottle of clear nail polish so that it stays clear and doesn't turn blue. Then you just have to wait for your nail to dry so you can go and wash off the excess powder. And now I have a little blue pigment at the end of my nail. I definitely have a few clumps in there. I probably should have spent a little bit more time crushing the powder. And when I was blotting it with the tissue, I think I moved some of the polish. 
but after you complete one nail, you can repeat for the others. Now there is a lot of opportunity for some cross-contamination here, so make sure you are very clean between each color change and between each nail. Oh yeah, and all the warnings. Discontinued use of irritation or rash develops. Do not use on broken skin. Color transfer may occur. Keep the eyeshadow and clear nail polish away from fabric, furniture, and other surfaces. Do not blow the eyeshadow powder at people, pets, or their eyes. Wash your hands thoroughly after working with the powder and clear nail polish. And it just keeps going on. I probably should have read this before I attempted the experiment. Yeah. And all of the little jars fit on the base so you can keep your area nice and neat. This experiment can take up a nice amount of time since you have to do each nail individually. But I bet you could come up with some pretty cool designs by mixing colors. Thank you for joining us for the Project MC Square Nail Powder Experiment. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.